In this tutorial I'll explain how to split a character string into chunks using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So in this tutorial I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the character string that we can create with line 2 of the code. So if you run this line of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new character string is appearing which is called myString and we can print this string to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 3 of the code and then you can see that our character string contains three times the letter A, three times the letter B and three times the letter C. So let's assume that we want to split these character strings into chunks and each of these chunks should contain two characters. Then we first need to specify the number of characters that each chunk should contain as you can see in line 5. So in this line of code I'm creating a new data object which is called n and this data object contains simply the number of characters that each chunk should contain. Then in the next step in lines 7 to 9 of the code we can use a combination of the substring and the seek and enter functions as you can see in lines 7 to 9. And if you run these lines of code you can see at the bottom of our studio that we have created a vector of character string chunks and each of these chunks contains two characters as we have specified in line 5. And you can also see that the last character string of this vector is empty. And the reason for that is that our input character string contains nine characters. And for that reason, the last character string in our output vector could not contain two characters anymore because the input character string has an odd length. So if we want to create a character string vector of character chunks where the last element contains the remaining letters even though the number of characters in our input character cannot be split exactly by the number of characters in each chunk that we want to use, then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 11 to 16. So in these lines of code I'm using the str split, the gsub and the paste zero functions and then I'm specifying some regular expressions within these functions. So if you run lines 11 to 16 of the code you can see at the bottom that another vector of chunks is created and as you can see the difference compared to the first example is that in this case our vector of chunks contains a last element which has only one character inside. So depending if you want to keep this last character in an extra element of the output vector or not, you may prefer to use the code that you have seen in the first example or the code that you have seen in the second example of this tutorial. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I am explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.